So a lot of you have been requesting more information on how to size the reference pictures properly for your props so that when you print them out and you tape little pieces of paper together that you'll have a life-size replica picture thing of your prop. So to use this reference. For example, this was explained in my first Keeley video, but a lot of people didn't get it. So I'm going to re-elaborate. Now in the link here is where you will find pictures of the Keyblades. And the link here is where you'll find examples of Keyblades that I have rotated to be straight and then cropped. And then um, I would also say that they were properly sized, but when I uploaded them to PhotoBucket, they were scaled out again. So they're not the actual size. But in the title of each Keyblade is the, the letter W for width and then the number for how wide it is and then the height and then the number. So when you go to, and here is the brief tutorial again, when you go to your start button on your computer and you select paint, which I'm sure all of you have on your computer, or I suppose if you have Macs, it'd be different, but nonetheless. <clears throat> when you go to paint, you see the options at the top, file, edit, view, image, colors, help. Click on image, go to sketch skew, and then make that bigger. It's at 100% right now, make it 200, 300% until you get a bigger image. Wow, words. Um, then you're gonna have to keep going back and forth between sketch skew and the image tab to attributes, which when you go to attributes, you will see it tells you width and height respectively, and then gives you a different amount of units. You're gonna wanna click on inches in the units tab. And for example, I have nothing in my paint right now. I just have a white square. This square is 5 inches, 5.3 inches, and 3.71 inches in width and height. If I were to have the keyblade, I'd want to blow up the size of that keyblade until the respective width and height was realistic. For example, most of my keyblades are around 30 inches. Uh, one of the smaller ones is around 27, and the biggest one, Fenrir, is 47. It's huge. Um, the width is from like 9 to 15 inches. So, go on paint, take your image, blow it up, until you, and then just go back and forth, experiment until you start getting the right size. And if you need a reference, or if you're doing one of the four keyblades that I did here, I already have half the work done for you. Unfortunately, paint doesn't really rotate well, so you're probably going to have to use a different software or find as close to vertical as possible. Because if it's if it's slanted like this and you print it out, it's going to waste a lot of paper. That's just no fun like that. So, um, my suggestion would be to just estimate how big you think the keyblade should be according to your height. For example, I'm 5'4", so these keyblades are meant for me. If I was six foot, a guy, then Fenrir would be even huger than 50 inches in height. Huger, huger, I don't care. Huger. Um, that's about it. Unfortunately, I don't really know how to explain this when I don't have paint on the screen for you guys to see. Sorry. Okay, I hope that helped. Bye.